the stuff that goes to build up a, a worm or a geranium or you. This stuff's easier to take, isn't it? Understandable. It's got people in it. This scientific knowledge is hard to take because it removes the reassuring crutches of opinion, ideology, and leaves only what is demonstrably true about the world. And the reason why so many people may be thinking about throwing away those crutches is because, thanks to science and technology, they have begun to know that they don't know so much and that if they are to have more say in what happens to their lives, more freedom to develop their abilities to the full, they have to be helped towards that knowledge that they know exists and that they don't possess. And by help towards that knowledge, I don't mean give everybody a computer and say, help yourself. Where would you even start? No, I mean trying to find ways to translate the knowledge, to teach us to ask the right questions. See, we're on the edge of a revolution in communications technology that is going to make that more possible than ever before. Or, if that's not done, to cause an explosion of knowledge that will leave those of us who don't have access to it as powerless as if we were deaf, dumb and blind. And I don't think most people want that. So what do we do about it? I don't know. But maybe a good start would be to recognise within yourself the ability to understand anything, because that ability is there, as long as it's explained clearly enough. And then go and ask for explanations. And if you're thinking right now, what do I ask for? Ask yourself if there's anything in your life that you want changed. That's where to start. Well, that's no better a solution than any of the others, is it? So, in the end, have we learned anything from this look? Well, that's no better a solution than any of the others, is it? So, in the end, have we learned anything from this look at why the world turned out the way it did, that's of any use to us in our future. Something, I think, that the key to why things change is the key to everything. How easy is it for knowledge to spread? And that in the past, the people who made change happen were the people who had that knowledge, whether they were craftsmen or kings. Today, the people who make things change, the people who have that knowledge, are the scientists and the technologists who are the true driving force of humanity. And before you say, what about the Beethovens and the Michael Dewey? Disagree, disagree, That aspect, the product of human existence, art, philosophy, politics, music, literature, are interpretations of the world. They tell you more about the guy who's talking than about the world he's talking about. Second hand views of the world may be third hand by your interpretation. Things like that. As opposed to this. You know what it is? 
it's a function of the mineral atom. If that's the case, you build up a, a worm, or a geranium, or you. This stuff's easy to take. Understand it. Got people. Yes, scientific knowledge. It's hard to take because it removes the reassuring corruption in ideology and leaves only what is demonstrably true about the world. And the reason why so many people may be thinking about throwing away the world is because thanks to science and technology, they have begun to know that they don't know so much and that if they have power, more say what happens to their lives, more freedom to divert their ability to the full. They have to be helped towards that knowledge that they know exists and that they don't possess. And by help towards that knowledge, I don't mean to give everybody a decision that they don't possess. What we need to start. No, I mean trying to find a way to translate the knowledge, to teach us to ask the right questions. See, we're on the edge of a revolution in communication technology that is going to make that more possible than ever before. Or, if that's not possible, to cause an explosion of knowledge that will leave those of us who don't have access to it as powerless as if we were deaf, dumb, and blind. And I don't think most people want this. So what do you do? I don't know. But maybe a good start would be to recognize within yourself the ability to understand anything, because that ability is there, and you just explain it clearly, and then go and ask for it first. And if you're thinking right now, what do I ask for? Ask yourself if there's anything in your life that you want changed. That's the start. Thank <laughs> you. 